successful managers put trophies in the trophy cabinet at Aberdeen. Uh, I would love to be one of those guys. Well, Stephen, welcome back to the dressing room. Thank is you. It, has it changed much since you were here as a player? I feel like it's a paint maybe, is it? It's changed a lot. There was never the there was never the lockers and stuff, it was just the pegs, but Okay. It feels the same with the, the windows, the cube glass windows and obviously the tactics board and the physio room. So yeah, no, it's the same. Where did you sit? Or did you have your own seat in those days or not, or was it I think I sat over there. Okay. Uh, and then match days was like it went one to eleven this way, so I kinda sat over here. Sometimes fourteen over here. <laughs> but yeah, more eleven kinda right around here actually, yeah, right around here. Like eleven was over there. Okay, the so you the numbers went. Started that way, and then weren't you were more of a first team player over this side? Yeah. No, like uh, your day to day stuff was there was no name, so it was just pegs that were. Okay. You just sat where your spot was, and I, I did. I think I sat over here. Okay. There was a bench actually went across the side there. But then on match day, I'm sure it started one and went this way. Look at I mean that team, the squad in the mid nineties. There's some big characters on there. So what was it like as a young lad coming into the dressing room? It must have been fairly scary, was it? I was for and the ground staff at first. It was like if you never knocked on that door to get in, you would sometimes get stuff thrown at you and that. But it's uh, <laughs> then when you were in it, it was actually okay because the senior players looked after you. Uh -huh. Like there was Stuart McKimmy and Heatherston and Paul Kane, Brian Grant. All those boys were mm -hmm. great, like role models and good pros.